Nam is some pants, some open one word in it. The real Blyzen! Gladly! Gladly! Attention position, including protocol. Nobody moves until the anthem is over. Your hand is on your chest. We'll leave this. still on your chest i promise yourselves least at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life and so that they come upon you on a words for as a snare it shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man watch ye therefore pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man where you saw you can can you you free look at some part it is a yet you know back when you move yet yes and i it is in a dear sense yes and some panel said you look at actually they are bringing it a yet you know back when you move a yet you are sir and nine it is a dear sense yes so to think you don't say Everybody that is joining us, this is Sweet Melodies 94.3 FM, also Sweet Flow 102.1 in the city of Tamale. We are live online on Facebook and also on YouTube. I would like to use the opportunity to welcome all our friends, brothers and affiliates from around the world and thank you all very much. This morning the network is beginning very very bad but we are trying our best to fix it so that all of you will be able to have the opportunity to hear the word of the Lord and so it goes to be a blessing to all of you in Jesus' precious name. Can I hear a good amen? Amen. Now, before everybody take your seat, I would like really to read for the last time this particular scripture, and then I will allow you to take your seat. There is a profound and a prophetic word from the throne of God as fellow Ghanaians as we celebrate the goodness of the Lord and uh, the grace of God. Will you King me and tell me? So I push a little bass on the thing. Let me also hear clarity, focus. So, whether you are saved or not saved, whether you believe you don't, that's not the point. The criteria is to say, that is the criteria. Worship, it, it's a profound revelation. I don't know any kind of counsel that goes through the spectrum of 
King Gangwe. Na pocha, ene sabro. Ene nkwe mwini ya mahunda jene hao anshe makuma so. Ne dana ambe tsumu mpo firm se fidiye. Ne beba ono te asasi nyine ni nyina so. Osi bi bi ba e ba ni pa te asasi ne eni so. There is something that is coming and is coming upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Something is coming. But the something that is coming is coming upon all them that dwell on the face of the very whole earth. Watch ye therefore pray always that he may be accounted worthy to escape. All these things, there are things. There are things. Not a thing. Things. One of them is coronavirus. And I can, I can assure you that Corona is just one of the most minuscule microcosm of it. And you may be a kujina wini papa nene. Say a good amen. You may be seated in the presence of God. You know, it, it, thank you, worshippers. You can take a seat. It really reminds me of uh, Psalm 33 and uh, verse number. 12 when the bible was outlining something profound in psalm 33 verse number 12 to 15 the bible was talking about blessed is the nation whose god is the lord blessed you know mr dense can you help this gentleman for me this is a very important service this morning thank you very much i'm grateful hallelujah Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And the people whom God himself have chosen as his own inheritance. Very profound. Very outstanding that God can choose a people to become his people. That God can say this is my inheritance. It is, it is outstandingly prophetic or remarkable for God to say that these people, they belong to me. These people, they are mine. These are my inheritance. For God to look out on the entire... Isn't it amazing that God chose the nation of Israel, but they were not the only people on the face of the earth. Lower the highs and lean on less work. You know, God chose them and declared that you know, I am your God. I am your God. I am your. It, it's amazing. Jerusalem. The Bible said in those days there were no electricity uh, generators and all those things that came up. And in those days, amazingly, the Bible said that when they were coming, traveling or commuting in the night, the Lord was with them like a pillar of fire by day, you know, and a pillar of cloud, you know, by the, the pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. It was amazing because, oh, the nations feared them. The nations, they feared them. And when nations are fearing one nation, the reason was all because the Lord is their God. The Lord is their God. Owens and Shim. I have a profound statement to make. The Lord! God is your God. The Lord becomes your God. I am going to use the opportunity to let everybody... You know when I, I announced two weeks ago and uh, also last week that the Lord is giving me a profound message for this nation... You know, a lot of people, including you people sitting here, think we are going to use this platform to insult our leaders. You think that, you know, Oni and Penny for Nenya. I don't Penny for Guana, here, Ghana for. I have received countless calls from all around the world. Yenya, but today. What do you have? What do you have? 
I'm carrying a word from the Lord. You were not there when I heard the message. Why are you bothered? Why are you intimidated? If there is a word from the Lord, why are you intimidated? We are near Yanku and Munte. We are near Yanku and Munte. I will have to commend, uh, you know, ourselves as a nation. I won't want to use the opportunity to thank God for the lives of everybody who is under the reach of the sound of my voice. Uh, last Friday was a very beautiful and a very colorful celebration in the city of Kumasi. The Ashanti region itself has a way of making things big and making things glamorous and making things powerful. The Ashanti region, I mean, I saw what I'm talking about exactly when, you know, I had the privilege and opportunity to host Laugh Talk at the KN, KNUSD Great Hall and I saw for myself, you know, the, the proclivity and the tendency the Ashanti region has a way of celebrating everything great. And so, before I celebrate Ghanaians, I would like to use the opportunity to thank God for the life of His Majesty King Ose II. You know, the Lord bless you. So it was beautiful. It was just beautiful. Are you clapping? And I want to bro. It was very beautiful. Extremely beautiful. It was lovely. It was lovely. The display of Ghanaian culture. When I saw the golden nature of our kente, it was beautiful. The array of people that came together to celebrate the red, the blood of our fathers, the gold, the enrichment of this nation, the green, the vegetational lines of this nation, the black star, the hope of Africa. You know, it was beautiful. At a point, I thought I was in another planet. At a point, I thought we had we had gathered on another planet at a point. Oh, I was amazed. It was beautiful. And look at the guests that have come from all around the world to come and be with us. It was wonderful. You know, the, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, you know, joining us in the celebration. It was beautiful. And I want to use the opportunity to celebrate my own president, His Excellency, Nana Adodankwa. I want to thank God for you, Your Excellency. It was beautiful. You are looking amazing, Your Excellency. And you, our mother, Lady Rebecca, looking phenomenally wonderful. The Vice President and his beautiful wife, it was amazing. I look at our ministers of state, so on and so forth. You know, it was a very wonderful thing. Whilst I was sitting by my television and watching, I, you know, shut all phones off because I didn't want anybody to be interrupting or disturbing, you know, and watching. I was wondering whilst the celebration is going on, is this the same Ghana? Is this the same Ghana? At the point, I am asking, is this the same Ghana where filth, if it, Jolly, is this the same Ghana? Is this the same Ghana? You tell me if you go to the La beach area and all, is this the same Ghana? Your royal dross and Mississippi Mountain is so openly. Is this the same Ghana? I'm asking a good one. Is this the same Ghana that our hospitals have nurses, a lot of them who don't have any value for human lives? Is it the same Ghana? So the moment I said that I had a message from God, the people are thinking I am going to talk to our leaders. But what about you? Is this the same Ghana where they murdered Captain Mahama? Is this the same Ghana where they murdered JP Dankwa Edu? Is this the same Ghana where the Honorable Mark Ofori from Takurade died brutally in the face of his own wife? Is this the same Ghana? I'm shocked. Is the same Ghana 
Once we were singing the songs and you know and all that kind of I was thinking to myself is this the same Ghana you know where uh, the police arrested people uh, here at La Paz and this guy took off fought with the police officer driver and his mate beat you know this police of with the umushi kuranoa and got the uniform and the coat of arms give at least a little respect to it malam junction driver and his mate fought police officer in uniform beat him until the uniform was torn is this the same Ghana? i'm asking that a police officer's AK-47 rifle was taken from him here at La Paz. And the man was shot to death here at La Paz. I'm asking whether it is the same gun. Are you very interested? Very, very interested. You are thinking that I'm going to be talking about some historical stuff. Put the scripture back. Let me show you something little. And then, you know, uh, some 33 verse number 11. The Bible says, Blesses the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for chosen for his own inheritance. And the next verse, the Bible is outlining something very good. The Lord looked from heaven and behold that all when you be from all the sons of man. Look at verse number 14. From the place of his habitation, push my monitors up, please. From the place of his habitation, the Bible is saying he looked upon the inhabitants of the earth. And then the next verse, very profound. He fashioned their hearts. Everybody say hearts. There be can be. Command. When you are dealing with you, nay, a command will deal with. Yet you are sorry, them, but commanding yet. You are some yame, but commander pro. So commander pro will be the good this year in a year. Obi the koko di MP enye ye. Obi the koko di MC enye ye. Koma is all that we are talking about. I'm going to drop the message itself, which the Lord has given to me. I'm asking myself: Is it the same Ghana where a man raped his own daughter, 14 years old? Is this the same Ghana? Or bear matimini onu ane ba ne yamba oni ne yire ne wopa no for 14. Years two weeks ago, he was jailed for 20 years. That is not enough. Is this the same Ghana? Say, Komani, yeah, we will not even go to the point of defiling a minor. Pioneer, is this the same Ghana? I'm, I'm thinking, Say, Komani, if this are your hearts, then I'm sorry. Judgment is on the way. Judgment. Is on the way. If this is the Ghana we are talking about, when I look at all our the national pledge, the national anthem, it tells me that our fathers, dear, they they had some God factor in their hearts. Bless our homeland, Ghana. Oh God, make our nation great and strong. Bold. To defend forever the cause of freedom and of right. Today, if you are bold, they call you arrogant. They see boldness as arrogance. They want you to be timid and quiet. That is what they want you to be. Bold to defend forever the cause of freedom. And that is why Galamse is spoiling all our waters because we lack the boldness. To confront wickedness. We lack the boldness. Boldness. Oh yeah. We, we lack boldness. Feel our hearts. We saw the hearts in this audition. Feel our hearts. With true humility. True 
genuine and yet you renew through humility make us fearless to cherish make us cherish fearless honesty fearless honesty you know what that is fearless honesty will be jimmy i'm here when my catch you say jimmy jai jimmy that is fearless honesty it's fearless honest but it's fearless and help us to resist oppressors rule with all our will with all our might forevermore and then when we finish we put our hands on our chest i promise on my honor to be faithful do you know what faithfulness is do you know a man cannot be faithful to his own wife how can he be faithful to a nation pioneer a man cannot be faithful to his own wife how can he be faithful to a nation i'm asking a good question the bible says if a man cannot rule well his own house how can he rule the house of god you cannot be faithful to your own husband you want to rule a nation you want to represent a people a constituency how can you do that to be faithful and loyal the founding fathers and mothers have pushed even further to loyalty to Ghana my motherland we have sold our own nation I pledge myself to the service. I pledge myself to the service. I you know, these are some of the things that I, I'm looking out because I want to say Hashagana ma. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse number 10 and 11. The Bible makes a very profound. Last Friday, I was at Kaswa on Independence Day in the evening for a crusade. And I told Kaswa, who pe baby a kronfu na wa Kaswa, who pe baby a fimbola the whole Ghana eh, Kaswa, who pe baby a kan kan wo pa chain baby a eh, mi jina Kaswa na meka sante ha ho. Na mi jina Kaswa na meka sa. Bridge na si me ni wo mo Kaswa. Eh Kaswa. Yet, who pe baby ba konsu esika? It will be buano. So I'm, I'm looking at Jeremiah chapter 7. And if you enjoy it, you say, Nye ni nyame zom. Nye ni! Mukatri mwenye mchile nyame zom pan zom ope mwa mwadene. The real thieves are not in Nsawem. I'm telling you. Akron Frankasa. They are not in Nsawem. Akron Frankasa are in suits. Nice pocket pieces. Driving very nice cars, and we gladly call them honorables. Gladly, we call them reverend. Gladly, we call them bishop. Gladly, we call them mister. Gladly, we'll call them your honor, your grace gladly hallelujah Amen. we're looking at verse number you know uh one to four let's hear what the word of the lord and yeah some god i said my favorite in chamber you remember and change say could you know ready for your punk is you move no copy i see me oh read not here right there some movie the phone you know move up on kc movie sorry ready sounds of what is when you go on cd mama mama crying the money in your year mama mama crying and the money yeah in your year now mama mama tina hey Mom from home to a true say means to say, and radia sorry for you, and radia sorry for you. Mom say, yeah, you Christian nation, yeah, you Christian nation. Now some of them are quite a money, yeah, 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 yeah. This is one of the messages the Lord says I shall tell this nation. Mom, I'm not quite a money, yeah, 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 ye
truthfully, honestly, sincerely. Nyamiso yenye wahe oh, uu he yenya ujine nima na uu he yaka sa ah nyamiso mfuni nyamia dofuni. But among us na akrumfu um, among yenye wahe trumu trumu fu um, among yenye wa pioneer. I would do for whom? For the sum for whom? It was it. What my one year in the work time? Aye, aye, ampa. The revelation again is ampa. We be the year in the bar. Sorry, often the year she would din throw chenano. Now we see Ghana in your sixty three. Sixty three of what? Last year, yes, celebrating. Let me be 63, 62nd celebration of what? We should be having something substantial we are celebrating. Isn't it? We look in God's community. But I say, some of you are not going to be able to do it. Some of you are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. You need to hear me read. And as a man, she must be deep in my guhai. Mocha, deep in Enua. Now my new enemy, full fresh. Now man could dig my bosom, can can a chia. I'm for I'm yummy ho boni. Now man for I'm yummy mo ho boni. I don't know my mama tena ha. Osu my mama tena. As I say, I'm the man who just no free to to consider. Now I want to drop the real message God has given to me to give to you. Isaiah chapter one verse number twenty one to the end. Isaiah chapter one verse twenty one. The Lord has given me a profound message for everybody who is Ghanaian. Read the word of God. Said the crown of coffee. How faithful! How is the faithful? He uses the word that our forefathers uses in our national anthem and in our national pledge to be faithful and loyal. He said, "How is the faithful city become a hallowed? The faithful." City, we have become a harlot. You know, it was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now it is a place for murderers. It used to be a country that everybody would like to go. Do you know that the investments are diverting from West Africa to East Africa? The real investors, the big boys, are diverting course from West Africa to East Africa. So business, entrepreneurship, investment, innovation is diverting cause. They are going to places. Oh, we are like an attraction. But now, matters. Look at the young whether Syrian or Indian young man who went to the bank to cash money. He was just going into his car with 200,000 Ghana CDs. He was shot open daylight. Shot dead. The man, an Indian or a Lebanese or a Syrian Bruni the shoot every akete. It was around twelve to one. Broad daylight. They took the money, killed the man, because Kuruno Kwafo no adane ewudifo. The faithful city have become. I am asking, where are the murderers of Fenek Ochere, the nephew of one of our ministers of state? At the time, they were in opposition. What about now? Why is it I am not related to this guy? Why is it that I rather, I'm rather making noise for justice for Fenech Ochery? Why? What do I get from it? I'm asking, why? Where are the murderers of Ahmed Swali? I'm asking. Where had the murderers that Ghana for the account some two weeks are in one? No, a come young can was him you, but God is a judge, God 
is a judge and God will judge and as I'm speaking to you judgment is on us I'm telling you you better repent or perish you better repent and come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ on only empathetic he has become our atoning sacrifice and let God through his Christ have mercy on us will you think about Nanka <laughs> He still uses the word woman now. the word you know should be here. Which verse is that, sir? Verse 23. Verse 23. Put it in a different version. Let me hear. It, they have become the companion of thieves. And the Bible said your leaders rebel and their friends are thieves. They all accept gifts in another version. Let's work very quickly. I'm speaking the heart and the mind of God. Your leaders are rebels and companions of thieves. All of them love bribes and demand payoffs. But they refuse to defend the cause of orphans and fight for the rights of the widows. I'm speaking to a nation this morning. And when I look at the young girl that is at Rich Hospital right now, raped by a teacher who works for the Ghana Education Service, and the girl has had, you know, an infection on his womb because he is, she's been raped Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Even when she is in her menstrual cycle, she is raped. Raped! And this teacher is walking freely. You won't believe. I just say, Yaki Kamu say, answer. It's walking freely. There is, sir! Do you know what? Now, a drone war. One more day intoxicating, and so Adam and every pinna has affected the girl's vision. Nene, if that 16 year old. I drew closer to the people that are dealing with her case and I'm asking what is really happening they said her womb her womb is thoroughly deteriorated if the bleeding can stop we need to take off her womb we need I thought a teacher is just like a pastor. I thought like a teacher is like a prophet. I thought like a teacher is like a president. I thought like a teacher is like a king or a chief whose job it is to hold reputably his or her office of trust in high dignity. I promise to hold in high esteem our heritage won for us through the blood and the toil of our fathers and I pledge myself in all things to uphold and defend the very good name of Ghana so help me God and when I teach any, you will not believe this 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 because pampas ne bonu no e ye blood soaking diapers the blood just goes into her and the blood just comes out the blood it goes into her. she is not bleeding she is hemorrhaging hemorrhaging because the same Ghana we are celebrating something and no pay the Lord wants to straighten it. Come back to the Lord. I'm telling you, 
Will you read down? Let's close. Now when he men we see, he men in the Rade as a Rade, Israel too for no assembly. Oh, may you make for share much. Put the scripture back. We're working, sir. Maybe for share, may you which verse is that, sir? Verse 24. Read. Now, may you make me for share much. Therefore, say the Lord, the mighty one of Israel, ah, obika, ah, asamno, amen. I will ease of I will ease of me I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me of my enemies. I'm telling you, young man came here three weeks ago, was you know brutalized in a hymvi. Not too far away from here. Brutalized because when he come up for he really handed over to the police. When the police investigated the case, they realized that uh, 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 this is a tension. here. Quickly, they turned the whole thing around and released the young man to go. But if you look at the wounds on him, it will humble you. It will really, really humble you. Me, this morning, I am not too much interested in your excavators and uh, uh, you know, your, you know, frivolous clinics and hospitals and bad roads and all that. I am not too much interested in that. What I am interested in this morning, as a matter of fact, if we will want to want to stay and when you drive around the country, then you will know that Ghana is a very miserable country. I am not too much interested in all that. What I am interested in this morning is that repent. Your heart needs repentance. Your heart, it needs repentance. We can all talk about these things, but how do we treat our wives? How do we treat our husbands? How are we towards our children? How do we live with our neighbors? These are some of the things that we would like to talk about. Do you know Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Are you born again? Is your name written in the book of life? These are some of the things that this morning I will want to draw your heart to. How you treat your neighbor, what you say about your neighbor, and all that kind of thing. I'm telling you, people are nicely seated, but the things that are in their motives and in their intentions, if they tell you this is a Christian, you will never believe. These days, I have been asking why I have had suddenly a huge following of Muslims to this ministry. They are addicts of God's word. The moment you come on, they put on the thing. They are listening. And I'm asking, why do you like listening? He said, truth is truth. Jesus said, I am the truth. I am the way. I am the life. No man cometh unto the Father except through me. The Bible said, we shall all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. What we are doing in this life, we will come, we will come to account for it. The Bible says very clearly, yeah, a disappointment unto man wants to die after death there shall be judgment you can never escape judgment the bible said ye all all hidden things after we have heard the conclusion of the matter fear god and obey his commandment but for this is the whole duty of man for god shall bring into account every hidden thing and everything that we do whether evil or good God will bring it into judgment. As I bring my message to a close, that if you forget everything, please don't forget, amend your ways. Amend your ways. Amend your ways. Amend your ways. Change your ways. Because God is going to deal with the heart. And with your doings or your deeds or your ways. That is what he is going to judge. May the Lord help us to come back to the fear of God. May the Lord help us to come back to our first love. May the Lord help us to come back to the place when we lifted our hands to Jesus Christ and say, We accept you as Lord and Savior. Don't you think there were churches in Denchabuase when they murdered Captain Mahama? Don't you think the people that stood there and their hands are full of his blood are 
members of these churches amend your ways mama makwan enye yi na se mama makwan ne mo ne ye ye yam pa eno ansa na mo be hunu me ne wonyam bo penyam ye ne wonyam ahuna gana mama makwan enye yi as i finish will it this morning i want us to repent you repent i repent for this nation we have sinned against god when joshua realized that israel couldn't break forth he went to the lord and said israel didn't for him the lord says my bonnet just one person sin it affect you bia say bodwoma paia e say nam nina i'm telling you and this is where we have come to i want everybody in this place to understand and know that we have blood stained on our flag I thought that ye na raya sa asini ye. E ya boden de ma ye. E mo jana nana mo shiye gutu. E de to ho ma ye. E du me ne wo so si ye baby ya to aso. Nim diye entraso wo. Not entraso wo. Entraso wo. En koto krane ni peze mi inko minya. E di gana bre mu dem. E di ye bre mu dem. A ji si ya tra. Get to move to move for so more be a conference. Yeah, chemo. We be one who say Christopher Omeyi. Mudi to move to move ba. Yeah, chemo. You will know there are Christians in this country. I was singing. I was watching the news the other day in England last week first lesbian or gay bishop have been appointed to the episcopal one I'm telling you it's either I resign and put this down walk away in dignity than to be part of an association that believes in trumu trumu. Shabi ekuta mi mi di rewu trumu adi eni besi. Adi ya kono no no. Stand to your feet. Clap your hands for the Lord. I would like to thank you all for joining us, watching, listening, and uh, give God the glory for everybody who has been part of this particular broadcast this morning. I'm going to use the opportunity to uh, thank God for the lives of the leaders of this nation and use the opportunity to pray for you. If you are joining us, I want you to know that this is one uh, this is part of our mandate. We are the only church who on, on every Sunday, every Sunday, we sing the national anthem and pray for the nation. It's part of our mandate. One of our mandate is to intercede for this nation and warn you. Warn you. Intercession is a warning is a Are you part of us? Say a good amen. We will sing right after that we will pray for Ghana. But I will use the opportunity to tell everybody give your life to Christ because very soon he appears. This morning when we pray for this nation we will also pray for the world. We will pray for China, for Italy, for Iran where the coronavirus is spreading too fast. In Italy schools have been closed churches have been closed and uh, they are trusting God for a miracle 
I'm telling the world instead of fearing Corona, fear God. Fear God. He is your judge. Corona can kill your body but cannot touch the spirit or soul. So Jesus said, don't be afraid of they that can kill the body but cannot throw the soul and spirit into eternal damnation. Fear God! Him alone serve. Hallelujah. The right hand is on your chest. Will you sing that one? Are you fine with that? You are not. You're not able to. want us to pray for this country remember to pray for his excellency the president we are asking you to make intercession for our leaders for our parliamentarians for people in authority it is our mandate as a, as christians or children of god i want you to lift your voice and pray for the economy of this nation i want you to pray that god who should heal our land and forgive our sins forgive the blood of the judges, the blood of the generals. Forgive. Can I hear intercession? Repara can you stretch your hands on the flag of Ghana this morning? We want to use Ghana as a point of contact and pray for the world briefly. There is fear in the world. Uncertainty, despair all around the world. People are afraid to travel. People are even afraid to shake you. Interesting. Corona be any Ghana, but they are afraid to shake you. So can you imagine the places where there is Corona? People in 
than in self-quarantine in their own homes. We want to ask God for mercy, intervention. Let the Lord miraculously intervene. Number two, let God give us wisdom to overcome. We need the grace for a vaccine or an antidote. At the end, we're about near draw at the moment. And tears and the spread and the ability to kill is unbelievable. It's spreading and it kills. And it kills fast. It is stronger than HIV. It's quick. It's so more so so it, it destroys. It's so more within, you know, and this is what I want to tell you. It's so more what and it will be via the history. Don't you think that Chinese are more richer? They are dying! Leaving their property. Can you lift your right hand on the flag of Ghana? Let's use Ghana as a point of contact and pray for the world. Let God intervene. In the name of Jesus. Only one minute. Can I hear your voice? Fire Shishia. Economies are crumbling, markets are folding. Have mercy in the name of Jesus. Have mercy. Have mercy. Let Bakari Abandu Kabada Badi Rapalata Gadi Abaron Tanda de Becariana Repari Alabandi Garabara Baza Gadagari Abaron Tanda Bakari Reparo Tanda de Becariana Bazo Padi Reparo Tende Kari Karo Tanda Bakari Rapari Abaron Tanda de Becarun Sagradi Gadagari Abagari Abaruna Becariaga Rapana Lamari Kadabada Bakada Repara papari, repari de de ya no shanda na ba ba kari, ro chande de 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 kalu na ba, repara ba kau, repara ba la, rapara ba kari apara, repara ba de de be kora ba ba, repari apara, repara ba ba kari ko, repari apara ba de de be kalu na ba, rapara, rapara ba pasara, rapari apa, repara ba kabara, repara ba 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 kari apara, repara mana ba 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 ko, repara do na kari kari apara, rapara ba, rapara ba ba. Rebara bara ba ba kare, rebara bara ba ba roll na ba, rebara ba ya, ja bara bara ba, rebara bara ba ba kala bara ba, nere nere ya bara ba, nere nere kara ba, rebara min nere min ko bara, rebara bara ba ba ya, ra ba bara ba, re pa bara, rebara ba ba ko bara, re mana ba ba ze kara bara ba, nere nere ka, re ko ra ba ba, re pa bara ba, ra pa bara, re pa ri ya bara ba, re ka re arosh. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we are so grateful for everything. Ghana. Must count his blessings like peace, like brotherly kindness, like brotherliness. We thank you that even though we don't have all the things that we so desire should have had, but we can freely walk about the peace we have and the tranquility alone is enough to be thankful. So I stand here in the name of Jesus thanking you and asking you for mercy. Forgive the blood of the generals. Forgive the blood of the judges. Forgive innocent blood that have stained our flag. Forgive the perpetuation of evil in our land. Forgive all manner of murders, adultery, promiscuity, perversion, decadence, chaos, anarchy, wickedness, hatred. Forgive it. Forgive injustice. Forgive cruelty. Forgive, oh God, when laws are twisted and perverted. Forgive, be merciful, be gracious, be kind. This morning, we pray for the health and wealth of our president. And we pray for his wife and family. We pray for the team in government and pray for the people of Ghana. And we are asking for your hand of blessing. Be merciful on us and bless us. Be gracious and bless us. Lift us from the dust and please us. 
to the peaks, the zeniths, the pinnacles in the name of Jesus. May Ghana prosper. May Ghana go from grace to grace. May we come to the place of the fear of God. May we come to the place where we tremble at your word. May we come to the place where we read ourselves from all kinds of uh, decadence and read ourselves from all kinds of, you know, fleshly activities and lust of this world. Bring our hearts in alignment to your will. And may we repent and accept Christ as Savior. May our names be written in the book of life. I pray for the vulnerable, the destitute, the underprivileged, the sick. I pray for prisoners. I am asking you to sh show them hope. Reveal your hope to them. In Jesus name. As I finish, I commend Ghana to you and to the word of your grace that is able to build us up and to give us an inheritance in Christ Jesus. May you help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands unto the Lord. <laughs>